Hey folks, welcome back to the mountain. I'm Tony from Gagnon's Mountain Homestead. So, you see behind me we got the bunny bunker. We got to work on the roof. We got metal roofing. We got to put up there. Before we do that, we got to put the fern strips on. So let's get going. All right, folks, so what we're going to do, we're going to put our furring strips up here. I don't have them quite long enough to go all the way, so I'm going to go to the second to the last rafter, and I need eight foot five inches. And by the, uh, by the magic of TV, it's already cut to eight feet five inches. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it up top here. It's going to be handed up to me. All right, so I've got my board now. We're going to put it flush over here, and it's halfway on that rafter down there. Now what we're going to do, so it doesn't stick too far down, we're just going to hold this up, we're going to nail it right there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move down a little bit, do the same thing, and then I'll, then I'll do up the middle. So now what I do, I measure for this last one, and we'll cut a shorter piece for that. All right, if I get you to hand me that board up here. Yep, and then the nail gun. All right, so this one is 30 inches, or two and a half feet, above the other fern strip. And then we already have the top one in place. So we'll go ahead and nail this in. This is the part Joey doesn't like, the height. Don't bother me. But I'm not as smart as she is. Said so I'm not as smart as she is. So now we got to cut a piece to go in here. But you can't quite see yet. Hang on. Now we got to cut a piece to go here, which will be 28 inches. As you can see, we got all our fern strips on. We'll go inside. You can see. So the fern strips are all on. So now what we got to do? We cut our cut our metal roofing. So this may not be an approved method, but it's what I do. I have my circular saw with a backwards wood blade on it, and I'll cut through all six sheets at once. I just did it to try it out, it worked great, so now I'm gonna show you. Okay kids, always wear the proper safety equipment when you're working with this type of gear. Remember, I am a trained moron, so don't try this at home. It's gonna be loud, just so as you know. And there you go. Cuts right through. That's no lie. Actually, it is loud. It's it is loud. Like a hot knife through really cold frozen butter. Eventually it cuts through. So there we go. So now we're going to put these up on the roof. Let's 
do it this way. Hang on, it's gonna be a couple minutes. All right, let's get this roof up here. Once again, I put them on the ridge, not the valley. On this type of roofing, if you have the colored metal ones with the flat spaces, then you put it on the flat. But on this, you want to put it on the ridge, not the valley. Don't question me, that's what the manufacturer says. And we're good. It's going to go up like this. I want up. Hi, how you doing? Pretty good? I hope so. Bring it up. I got it. All right, how's it look on the bottom? Is it lined up? All right, folks, I'm going to have to move you because you're in the way. All right, so we got the roof all on, as you can see. Now we're putting the ridge cap on. As you can see, we were a little too short, so we had to buy a whole second piece. And we cut that. We put that under, and we'll screw that on right there, like so. We're going to go ahead and screw this in. Hopefully you can see. Well, sort of. We'll put another screw on there. Hold that down. There we go.
So there we go, folks. The ridge, the roof, and the ridge cap is on. There we go. The roof is on all the way around. <laughs> the whole roof is on, as you can see on the inside here. We have our roof on. We have the ridge cap on. So um, I'm going to do this a lot like I did with the goat barn. As far as on the outside here, this will all be screening. There'll be a, a, a fascia board here and then screening here so it'll be vented. So the air will be able to flow up there and then up through the ridge cap too because that'll be vented too. And then we still have to put the doors on. And then I'm going to be building cages that are going to hang on the walls. So for right now there'll be three cages on each wall. There'll be six cages total. And we can add other layers of cages as we need. So that's it for now. That's the end of the build for today. So that's it from the mountain for today, folks. We did enough. We got the roof on. That's good. Uh, so now at least the inside will stay dry. Um, like I said, we got a lot more work to do. We're gonna get, we're gonna go start on that this week. Just remember, I'm learning as I go. I'm not a carpenter, although I play one on YouTube. I try. I do what I can. Uh, most of my stuff comes out all right, but hey. So if you like our videos, subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when our videos are coming out. Give us a thumbs up. Tell everybody. Share our videos. Tell people about us. And as always, folks, God bless.